The Oak Start has for years had wonderful success with Dane Hill's sire son, Darcy Brahma, and now they have a new stallion US Navy flag they bought from Coolmore and who has all the star qualities it takes to be a stud success. He has seven yearlings catalogued for Caraca 2024, four of them to be sold by the Oaks. It was a good lead into our filming at the Oaks today with the New Zealand Pendragon winning the Auckland Guineas. A great boost for US Navy flag now standing at the Oaks. He yeah, certainly is, Caroline. He was champion first season sire here last year and we actually, as you know, purchased him outright from Coolmore Stud. Uh, in May last year we took a punt on him and uh, he's continued through the spring of this year uh, with Dragon and of course Sean T. Lace and a number of other group placed horses so he's profiling up very well we couldn't be happier he's sitting second on the second season size list behind um, Ace High who we happen to have a share of so we're very pleased Ace High is going well and uh, Pendragon was very timely a really talented horse he's won his last three and he'll be in the mix for the Karaka three old million. Well, you mentioned Shanti Lace, the Wanganui Guineas and Castleton Stakes winner. Fashion Icon also won three in a row through spring and summer. And excitingly, Storm Boy, one of the star two-year-olds this season for Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott, is a son of Pelican from your own champion Mare Sea Change and Burned to Shine by So You Think from Smolder, a group winner in spring and will be showing his half-brother shortly. Yes, yeah, certainly we've been following Storm Boy. Obviously, Sea Change was a um, great mare of ours and uh, she's retired but she's still alive at the stud. Now that's been good to see. I think the important thing with US Navy flag is he's had group one place getters with uh, To Catch a Thief and Aprilia. They were group one placed at two and of course To Catch a Thief's been group one placed in the 2000 guineas and Aprilia was second in the Edward Manifold. So there's a lot of stakes performers as well as stakes winners out there at the moment. Well, three of the four presented here are by US Navy flag. And we start with lot 618 from Blanket Bay. This Colts Dam is by Darcy Brahma. And she was a runner-up in a New Zealand Oaks. It's a family of group performers, Elegant Emerald, Colorado Star and Ratani. Yes, really, really nice uh, colt this. And uh, she was a very good mare. She was second in our Oaks, I think fourth in the South Australian Oaks. And she's been very unlucky. She missed a couple of years and her first two foals died. So we've got a Swain S filly we've retained and this is the first colt to go to the sales out of it. But very happy with them. Good mover, good bone, good brain. Lot 186 is also by US Navy flag from Like a Lady. The Colts Dam is a half-sister to Queensland Oaks runner-up Nothing Like a Cat, whose group winners Stampede and Thinkin' Big are by High Chaparral and Dulcify winner Just Thinkin' is by So You Think. So you're tapping back into that Saddler's Wells blood through Galileo in US Navy flag with a bit of Warfront Danzig speed. Yeah, it's exactly why we did it, Caroline, you're right. But we also have a So You Think three-year-old out of the mare tapping back into the same thing, a horse called Genteel, and uh, he's a lovely horse we've got a lot of time from. But again, a really nice, typical US Navy flag colt. Lot 19 is by US Navy flag from Dominance. The Colts Dam is by your ever-consistent Darcy Brahma. And the third dam is that wonderful Oaks winning filly by Grosvenor Domino. Absolutely. It's a family that was developed by the Campins. We've had a lot of luck with it, uh, with Dominant and uh, about the journey and hot pursuit, I think of all, we've bred them and raced a couple of them. First foal of a strong mare that was injured in a paddock accident and couldn't get to the races, but look, a really good first foal. And finally, Lot 415 by Hello Yum Zane from Smolder. Hello Yum Zane, I'm really looking forward to these getting into the best stables as they are really going to fly. And Smolder, as mentioned, the dam of the recent group winner in your colours, Burn to Shine. She herself was a top filly of her generation. She won the eight carat classic and was placed in two group ones, including the New Zealand Thousand Guineas. Absolutely, Smolder was a superstar and as you say she was group one placed and a group two winner and she's produced very well. Embers was very talented, got injured and uh, Burn to Shine this year has been a revelation in the spring and he's probably run those races really uh, early in his career. I'm sure once he steps out this autumn over further you'll see the best of Burn to Shine. Uh, we took two shares in Hallow Yum Zane when, when he came out and really pleased to have them. I, Thought I'd have two or three colts in the sale by them and just little things went wrong with them. But very happy to keep those horses and race them through as well. But 
this is a lovely horse and I, typical of what I've seen of the Hallyum Zanes. And there are just so many great young stallions in New Zealand at the moment. It's such an exciting time and so many reasons for Australian buyers to come to Caraca because these sire lines, they're working right around Australasia. Yeah, they certainly are, Caroline. Look, we've had a great year over there in Australia again and we need to continue to do that. But I think the Entain group coming in and the outsourcing of the TAB, there's a whole lot of positive things happening in racing in New Zealand and of course Australia remains extremely strong. So we're all looking forward to it with a bit of confidence.